we get a lot of questions about should I work aged leads? Here, here's a play, or, 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 or I have no money and I want to make, I have zero dollars or close to zero, but I want to make 100K plus, okay? You know how Gary Vee always talks about Dylan, he does those videos about garage selling and flipping items and making 80 grand and all this kind of stuff. Here's my flipping idea for agents to go make 50, 60, 70, 80, 100K, 120K, I know people that make more, okay, off of this idea, which is aged leads. You buy aged leads, whether they be from us or from somebody else, you know, A3340 agent, or you buy from somebody else, whatever, okay? There's all kind of places, age leads, or there's a lot of places, okay? Buy age leads, and then you go door knock, and you set up like 20 to 25 knocks per day, okay? And you get to where you're knocking about 100 to 125 doors per week, and you're gonna do enough knocking and enough activity that you're gonna end up making money just because, okay? So if you're the person out there, you're like, I have no money, I'm struggling, I know I need to get in front of people because Cody talks about it 82 times a day, okay? And he said it on video 4,872 times in the last year. This is true, this is my basic idea to go out, put forth some activity, Okay, maybe a little gas money, maybe a little, a lot of hard work, maybe you def define your pitch, your role play, your practice, you get really good at what you're saying, you get really good at getting in the home. That's how you can make sales. Those people that you're door knocking, these age leads, they had interest at some point in the past. Act like it's brand new, don't act like it's old. Tip number one, don't make that mistake, okay. Also, just assume that they wanna to talk to you. They probably already bought something. If they did, you can help them and replace it. You can add more. Maybe they didn't do it. Maybe they're procrastinating. Maybe you're better closed. Maybe you can get them to do it now. This is my way of, hey, you wanna go make 100K with a little, very little money? Put forth a bunch of freaking activity. Buy some age leads, door knock, and just go do it and stop thinking about it and stop saying, oh, woe is me, I have no money and I'm gonna fail. 92% fail, and it's most like, mostly it's like a mindset problem, an activity problem, a prospecting problem. This is a small way to help you guys solve that. Most new agents, most agents in the business are failing and most haven't made $75,000 in a year before. It's not, it's not hard. It's a little over six grand, you know what I mean? It's a little over six grand a month. It's not a lot of money, but I'm gonna break it down on how easy it is to make $75,000 in this business. And I'll break it down today. And all I'm gonna ask you to do and I need your agreement right now that you're gonna do it, okay, while you're watching, say yes with me, yes, okay, me too. I'm gonna need you to invest $200 a week, and when you invest $200 a week, it's gonna turn into 75K, and right now, I'm gonna show you how, okay? So let's just say that you bought 100 aged leads, okay, they can be three months old, six months old, 12 months lead, whatever, at $2 each, which brings us to what? 200 bucks, okay? 100 age leads, let's just say that, and you can say, well, Cody, they're three bucks, then buy 70, okay? Let's not overcomplicate this. You'll understand the purpose and you'll be able to actually duplicate it yourself. That's the point. That's the point of numbers don't lie, is to give you ideas and specific ways to make the kind of money you wanna make because numbers don't lie, okay? So 100 leads, two bucks each, that's $200 a week, all right? If you think about that, okay, for a quick step, if you think about that, 100 leads, and let's just say that you, let's just say that for, for 75K, and let's just say that your average commission, I'm gonna even go, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go small. I'm gonna go baby numbers just for you, okay? Today, you're like, Cody, you, you aren't conservative enough, okay? Well, let's just say that your average, your average sell equals $500, okay? So if you do that and you take 75K divided by, 500 bucks, okay? I think we end up with uh, mm, 15 times two, something like, uh, for once my numbers and my, my math's off, 150 cells, okay? Way off, all right, whatever, 150 cells. You can make fun of me in comments below, do it now, okay? 150 cells, okay? Because we keep it real. I'm normally really good at math. I got a lot going on today, okay? 150 sales, and Dylan's laughing because he's like, that's like the first time he's ever screwed up on video with numbers, okay? 150 sales, okay? If you look at, I need 150 sales, okay? If you break that down over 50 weeks, I should have known that because now, now I'm recognizing what's going on. 
three cells per week. I don't care. I don't care what product you're selling. Maybe it's life insurance, whatever. Three cells a week. Let's pause for a second. Is this real? Are we really struggling making three cells a week? If you're struggling to make three cells in the week, then you need to email me, Cody at CodyAskins.com. Tell me the problems you're having. I'll freaking fix them, okay? I don't care if I gotta come out and spend a couple days with you and your team. I'm going to Oklahoma next week to spend two days with a PNC team. I'm going to New York to spend time with another PNC team. I'm going to Houston to spend time with a life insurance team. I don't care what, what we gotta do. I will come to you and fix that freaking problem, okay? Email me, Cody at Cody Askins, if that's a problem, okay? Three cells a week, all right? So if you think about that, three cells a week, okay? So let, now let's go back to 100 age leads. So let's just say, out of 100 age leads, let's just say that you, let's just say that you either door knock or say that you either door knock or call. I don't care if you door knock or call, okay? That's up to you. And let's just say that you speak, let's just say that you actually get in, let's just say you actually talk to, let's just say that you actually talk, okay, to, let's just say about 36 people, okay? And that, that may be whatever, 36 people, okay? You can figure out your own numbers because if you make a couple, a few calls to them, you'll probably talk to about 36 people, okay? So let's say you talk to 36 people and then let's just say that out of those, that you set 12 appointments, okay? And these are all really conservative numbers, especially this, especially this, right? Because if not, something's wrong. 12 appointments, let's just say that about, let's just say that, let's just say that you sit with, let's just say you have an awful week and you only sit with six, which if you don't have a 50% sit rate, if you don't have above that, something's wrong, we can fix that too, okay? And then let's just say, you know what? Dude, I'm, I actually sell, sell, I, I, I sell three. Okay, well that brings us to 75K. Now you could say, well, Cody, I'm gonna door knock them. And, and you may talk to 40 people door knocking, right? You may get, you, you know, or 30, okay? Whatever the thing is. The thing is, maybe these numbers are not exact for you. I know these are about what, what, what has happened to me in the past when I've worked age leads. But even if those aren't your numbers, then create your own numbers, okay? When you get so many leads, so many number of leads, and then you speak to so many people, okay? And then you set with so, set so many people, sit with so many people, and sell so many people, okay? What does that look like for you? Let's just say right now you're selling two because you're sitting with four and because you're setting eight and because you're speaking with 24 and because you're buying 72 age leads then you just need a few more, right? Because numbers are life. So this is how you can invest $200 a week and earn 75K. Now over the course of 50, 50 weeks, okay, 200, that's $10,000. Sounds like a lot. Most people in the life insurance business are getting a four, five, six X return on average, sometimes better, sometimes worse. So if you can take 10 grand, if I said, hey, give me $10,000, I'm gonna give you $75,000. I would do it too, okay? Thanks for watching, numbers don't lie. Know your numbers, break them down. If you ain't made 75 grand, you ought to be making 75 grand. Today we're talking about the three key components to having success with aged insurance leads. This is a topic that's come up a lot. I've got a lot of questions from agents about the topic of aged leads. And even though, yes, you have, you generally have a, you will have a better chance of making money and getting a return on investment by working new fresh leads here at Secure Agent Mentor. However, if you don't have the money or if you would like a ton of opportunity for very little money, age leads can be an option, especially for new and struggling agents. You got to put a little, little, little bit more activity in it, a little harder to work. We'll talk about dialing versus door knocking those. We're going to talk about three key components today. So stay with me. I'm also... I'm going to cover the first key component right here. I'm going to cover the second key component from the whiteboard too. You want to stay tuned for that here in about a couple minutes really briefly. And then we'll finish with a third key component back from the studio desk. So the first thing is the quantity in which you need to work these leads as in a dialer, as in door knocking. This is where I want to talk about dialing versus door knocking. 
Dialing is an efficient way to work in age insurance leads, but only for very few people. That's my take on it. Because I say use a dialer, yes. Especially if you're going to call. Because you want to be working 500 age leads, 100 age leads, 1,000 age leads, and you want to be able to literally, it's a contact sport, right? It's, it's talking to a lot of people, and you end up with some, some results. About 95% of people that you call will not be interested, but about 5%, you know, hey, they'll make it worth it. They may not have done something. They may have done something. You may have something better. They may want the new information, whatever it is. The more calls you make, guess what? The more sales you make, it's a numbers game. We talk about this all the time. And with a dialer compared to hand dialing, you can, especially with age leads, you can quadruple the amount of calls that you can make. And so, yeah, I'm all about hand dialing. I'm all about when I'm calling new leads. When I'm calling age leads, though, I want to use a dialer, call through hundreds of leads as fast as I can, or I want to door knock. You guys, you guys know I talk about efficiency, and I'm going to compare a couple of numbers and break them down in just a second. But the reason I'm, the reason I would say for new and struggling agents. I, if, you're, if you don't want to make the calls, then door knock. Because most insurance agents, even though they, they, they can probably be more efficient using the phone and a dialer and actually calling these, most agents are scared of the phone. That's the first point. Or they're no good on the phone. That's the second point. You're either afraid of it or you suck at it, and so you don't end up using it at all. If you're going to call, use a dialer. But door knocking can be efficient because those new and struggling agents that hate to pick up the phone, that phone feels like it's 800 pounds and you're like, gosh, I can't get it up to my ear. I just hate it. It's, it's so difficult. With those agents, they may want to consider door knocking simply because maybe, maybe they will actually follow along and do it. We talk about branding. We talk about marketing. We talk about the studio. I'm going to the whiteboard literally right over here in about 60 seconds to talk about the quantity and breaking down the actual numbers. So we talk about dialer, we talk about door knocking, choose one or do both, but you must do one. If you're scared of the phone, then door knock and door knock a lot. I think door knocking is a great way for agents that are new or struggling to get in front of people and make sales. For instance, if I had to guarantee somebody do something to have success, it's probably door knock quite a bit because I, I, I took, there was a group of six insurance agents. We went down to Arkansas to door knock for a weekend, some age leads. Every single person made a sell because we door knocked efficiently. We had some new agents with us, some, ex, some experienced agents. Door knocking allows you to get in front of people. The name of the game in the insurance business is to get in front of people. Dylan, let me, let me know when you're ready to go to the whiteboard, brother. You good to roll? Yeah. Let's do it. All right, we're going to jump over to the whiteboard and talk about the quantity of leads. Stay with me. Follow me over here. We're going to talk about the quantity of leads. We're going to talk about the quantity of leads in general. And we're going to break down some numbers. So I want to look at this from I want to look at this from both angles. So I want to look at this by actually making calls and I want this to look look at this by actually making door knocks. So cuz no matter what you do, let's just say that you grabbed let's just say that you grabbed 100 aged leads and there's ways for you to grab you know older ones and get a thousand for like a thousand bucks or 500 for a thousand bucks or a hundred for three hundred dollars whatever they're, 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 they're inexpensive it gives agents don't have a lot of money the opportunity to go make sales to get in front of people without spending a lot of dough Dylan right so with calls say you're working a hundred age leads say you call all the way through the whole list let's just say that you make a hundred calls you should call this list multiple times. I'm talking like six times because six times gives you a 90% chance of contact. Now, maybe not with age leads because some of the data and information is going to be incorrect. So it won't be perfect. But let's just say that you made 100 calls. Let's just say that from aged, let's just say that about 30 answer the phone. We normally say about a 30% contact rate, right? Out of that, I would normally say you would set one of every two or three of new. With this, you may book, you, you may actually set appointments with one out of every five to six, right, that you actually speak to. So in that case, let's use six. And so in that case, you set five appointments. Let's just say that you get in front of five people and some, some agents may be worse than this. 
Honestly, that's the thing. If you're not any good on the phone, then these numbers may not even make sense at all. But let's just use these numbers for now. So five set appointments. Let's just say you get in front of them because their age is a little different. Let's just say you make two sales, okay? Let's say you have a 40% closing rate, right? Okay, 40% closing rate, two sales. Let's just say the average sale is 60 bucks each. So that's $720 times two. That's $1,440 of annual premium. And you probably spent, I don't know, $250, 200 to 300 bucks. Is that a good ROI? Yes. Now, did you have to work harder and spend more time? And you may have to call through these a couple times to get these numbers. Sure. But that's kind of how, you, how I can think of breaking down calls. Now let's think about breaking down door knocks for a second because a lot of times for an agent that's struggling or they're, or they're new or they're just not any good, you're afraid of the phone, it's 800 pounds and you don't want to pick it up. Then what happens if that's the case? Door knocking gets you in front of people and it's easier for them to say no over the phone than it is to your face. You know, we talked about it a few shows ago how you could make like, you know, 40 bucks by door knocking. Let's just say you had the same 100 leads and let's just say that you did 100 knocks in one week, okay? So that, that, what is that? That's 20 per day times five days, right? And you get 100 knocks in. That's extremely possible. Like that's not, Duker, I'm not exaggerating, bro. That's legit. All right, so 100, say you do 100 knocks. Out of 100 knocks, let's just say that about, oh, let's just say that about 30, let's use the same numbers. About 30, answer the door. Could be a little higher, could be as high as 33, 35, 40, somewhere in there. I'm gonna be conservative, we'll say 30. Out of those 30, let's just say that five lets you, in, let, 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 let you inside to actually run an appointment because the goal is to get in the house, nothing else. Don't set future appointments, get in the door. You, so you sell five. Let's just say that you end up with two cells, all right? So in both of these cases, this one you may have to make 200, 300, 400 calls to get to these types of numbers. Who knows? In this case, you probably just need to knock them all, you know what I mean, one time for the week. And averaging 60 bucks, even in this example, you end up with probably similar type numbers, 1440 bucks of annual premium. But the reason I show you both examples is which one are you more likely to actually go do? Are you more likely to pick up the phone Let's just say you had to make three calls to these leads to talk to 30 people, right? Okay, so you had to make 300 calls. Or are you more likely to make 60 calls a day for five days, maybe? Or are you more likely to go door knock on 100 doors for an entire week? Most agents are scared of the phone, they're not any good. So I think that even though this is probably slightly more efficient because you're not spending all your time out in the field, but there's something to be said for being out in the field in high activity, and that's why actually door knocking is a better fit, even though if you're gonna call, use a dialer, right? We talked about that was point number one. But even though door to door and actually knocking, there's even a door to door conference nowadays, knocking is better for most agents. I love both. If I want to be more efficient, I'm very good on the phone. I should probably make calls, even though I'm great in person too. I got a big old smile, I'll I'll put, on, I'll put on some charm and I'll probably get in the door, right? Like Matt, dude, he's a charming dude. 100, I, 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 you could be successful either way, but you need to know, we have a lot of fun in here too, but you need to know which one are you more likely to go do and have results, that's what you do. I, I'm all about preaching, hey, do the hard stuff and do the stuff that un people, unsuccessful people are unwilling to do and do the stuff that nobody else will do. Yes, I do that stuff. But you can have success either way, but you got to have a plan and you got to execute the plan. So whatever that looks like, I love breaking down numbers with you guys because it's all about a plan and executing. So let's jump back over here and jump to the studio to finish up the show with Mr. Dylan as we talk about, um, we talk about having a system in place and working it well. That's why, that's where, that's why that's a perfect setup. We talked about the dialer and knocking. We talk about a large quantity of leads. Now we talk about a system because a system is the, the best way to finish this off. 
So you saw the system here. Maybe it was, maybe it was 300 calls. Maybe it was, hey, I'm going to call, I'm going to make 60, to, whatever it is, I'm going to make 60 to 100 dials a day for five days or three days or four days. Have a system. Or, hey, I'm going to go door knock 20 doors for five days during the day, nine to five, and I'm going to get my 100 knocks in. I'll probably make a couple sales, right? But making 1000 1500 $2,000 off of a measly few hundred bucks by door knocking a lot is something that most agents could be successful with if they put that system in place and app actually followed it. Now, a few things if you're going to call. Obviously, we talked about you got to use a dialer. You got to commit to three to four days of dials. You got to develop a script and stick with it, which we've, we've given you the example of the script before. You need to use a CRM to stay in contact with people. You can automate texting and emailing, all that stuff. Um, but at the end of the day, it's all about having a system and executing. You can have a ton of success working age insurance leads if you will execute. That's the word of the day. Hey, if you enjoyed this, I got another one you're gonna love. It's right there, click on it, see you in there. Most people in the industry fail, they, don't show up. they just don't show up. You know, like it literally, like in college, I had to show up to class to pass the class. It wasn't hard, it wasn't rocket science. If I showed up, I, I won. In, in,